So this is going to be a little bit of a blog. So I went to the National Forest to check my cameras. And just to get out of the house for a little bit. And obviously we've had a lot of rain, a lot of wind. So I had about 950, I think it was like 56 pictures of just, there's just small little trees like this. These little American wild berries <clears throat> in front of my camera. Just whipping back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I was a little irritated about that. But last time we were out here, we were trying to look for scorpions. And we found a little tiny one, a little exoskeleton. And we looked for little sheds and stuff like that. And my son really wanted one. And there's there's a bunch of them. You can find, I'm going to go ahead and live in pine. You go ahead and kick stuff like this over. And scoot around all these little bitty pine needles and all this brush in here. Usually if you're lucky, you'll find a small one. Well, I went ahead and found probably a three to four incher. And neither one of my sons are with me today. And they really love scorpions. And I've been wanting to get them one. But I don't want to go out and buy one because it's not native here. And God forbids it gets loose and it's just not worth it. So I like to get one from our natural environment. And we usually used to be able to find them in the houses and bamboos. But the smog is so bad. It's been getting so bad that they're very hard to find. Unless you go into a very heavily wooded. <clears throat> it's a very heavily wooded area. You don't really have any smog problems here. So, I went and found them one. And I was lucky where this bottle was right next to it. And I don't know if you could be able to see him in there. Where is he at? Let me be able to find him first. He must be tucked in to all that. There he goes. He's very hard to see, but he's in there. I have a few videos of them and a few pictures and I'll add it towards the end of this video. But I thought that was pretty neat. They've been wanting one. I, I don't want to go out and buy one. And we're going they usually eat termites, ants, and small small insects. They'll occasionally kill a cricket and he's big enough where I think he could take on a full grown cricket. So we're gonna go ahead and take him home. And he should live about six months and when he finally does pass away. We're going to preserve his body, and we're going to buy him a little glass peachy dish, petri dish that I can frame over it. And they already have the exoskeleton, so now they'll have the full scorpion. And they're harmless. It's the equivalent of being stung by a bee if you get stung. They're not going to be playing with it, but I'm just saying in general. The Texas pine, I think it's called ground pine scorpion or dark pine scorpion. They usually live in pine. <clears throat> They're harmless unless you're allergic to them. Then, like anything, a bee can kill you if you're allergic to it. I thought it was pretty nifty. My sons have been wanting one. They have a bunch of toy ones. They like to watch Brave Wilderness. So I was like, I'll actually go out and find you one in East Texas. And I was able to find one. So I hope you enjoyed this little bitty, nice little nature blog. I guess this would be number two. Just me going on ranting about just little cool things outdoors. And I'm going to post at the end of this video so stay tuned i'm going to have two three small videos plus i have a few pictures at the end of this video so hope you enjoy hit the like button the subscribe button tell me if you like stuff like this and just have a wonderful day have a wonderful night whatever time is it if it's your birthday happy birthday and just stay out there get outside the house and enjoy it because one day we might not be able to stay tuned There he goes. 
we should be able to keep them for about six months hopefully it lives a little bit longer but sorry the camera crowd is so crappy but uh oh spike sees them spikes like mm, what is that that looks yummy there he goes the camera will focus on him but yeah it's pretty cool I was able to get him out get him outside But the, my bearded dragon wants to eat them.